And the relativity of simultaneity is basically the idea that different observers may not always agree about whether or not two events are simultaneous. And before going into the thought experiment that uh, we'll use to try to establish this, let's note that um, this matters because there's a sense in which the present it looks like it's supposed to be all events that are simultaneous with now. <laughs> so all events that, that are simultaneous with what's going on right now are in the present. And so it looks like we need a robust notion of simultaneity in order to cash out what presentism amounts to. And without a robust notion of simultaneity, it looks like we're not gonna be able to do that. And it looks like, again, this kind of objective simultaneity doesn't fit in well with special relativity. And we're going to now turn to a thought experiment to try to see why uh, observers, uh, particularly in different reference frames, are not going to agree about whether or not two events are simultaneous. Let's imagine a person on a train who is traveling in an unchanging speed and direction or in an inertial frame and a person standing in a meadow on an embankment, okay? And it turns out that there are two lightning strikes. Just at the moment when the person on the train is equidistant from the two lightning bolts. And so is the person in the metal on the embankment. Now, what relativity tells us is that the speed of light is finite and it's the same for all observers. And so what that means is the light from the lightning bolts will reach the person in the meadow on the embankment at the same time. And so they'll judge that alpha and beta are simultaneous. However, the person on the train will have moved. And so the light from beta will be observed by them before the light from alpha. And so the person on the train will determine that beta came before alpha. And so these two observers are not going to agree on whether or not alpha and beta are simultaneous. Okay, now we do want to recognize that that doesn't mean that the observers will always disagree. And a, a thought experiment about that can, I think, work similarly to how the last one showed that observers can disagree. So this time what we want to imagine is a person in an elevator, okay? And everything else is, is the same as before. And what we can sort of, I think, see just by kind of thinking about the, the geometry of the situation in, in this new case, that even though the observers are not uh, in the same inertial frame, nevertheless, they're going to agree in this instance about the status of the simultaneity of alpha and beta. Because in this case, the light from the lightning bolts will reach them both at the same time. 